What's up, y'all? Hello. Um, as you know, as you may or may not know, I'm a nut about spring reverb and um, I've been building one for John Wise, um, just trying to make tweaks here and there. Um, just about done with it. I've just been chipping away at it when I get free time. Um, but uh, I finally got the paint job relatively right. I don't know, it's the wrong direction. This, maybe you can see it. Try and mix a little bit. Yeah, there you go. It's on a wire right now, I don't want to pull it too hard. But yeah, this is the paint job. This is the spring tank. And uh, I finally put some grommets on it, so I nice up the, the holes that I drilled. Now all these wires are safe. Um, and this is what the inside looks like before I mount everything. I'm really probably just gonna use some kind of double-sided adhesive or something for this one. Um, I'm not sure that I'm going to bother actually mounting this stuff with screws, but we'll see. I'm working on design iterations, and um, the cool thing about this design is that uh, you can put a very small amp and a, a small tank all in one enclosure. And what's nice about this is, you know, obviously this looks like a jumble right now. I'm going to organize it, make it a little neat, and, and mount everything a little bit more properly, but um, ultimately, What's cool about this design is you can close it up and it's actually mad small. It's really small. It's just a couple inches tall um, and it's a little longer, a little wider than my body is, I guess. Maybe just a couple feet, um, two feet, something like that. And uh, the back looks like this. And so, when you want to flash the spring tank, from your side, what you're seeing is this, and you just have to go. And what everybody else sees when you lift the box is your sound name, like this. So, I'm gonna make more of these. I'm painting them up. I'm making the electronics nice and simple. Um, I've improved the design a little bit, and uh, yeah, I'm looking to order more of these enclosures, and I'll probably uh, check into other enclosures. I could do cool things in lunch boxes. Um, I know there's one person who already signed up um, to do a uh, a custom enclosure. They want a custom enclosure of another kind. Let me just show you. <laughs> this is hilarious. So here, I don't know if you guys can see this bread box on top of my microwave. I really haven't used it in forever. Um, but there's somebody who wants me to, to build uh, a, a tank in that bread box. So I'm going to do that as well. Um, and I thought I would just show you guys kind of what it... What it uh, what it actually looks like and sounds like now that I've got the design kind of right. So here's a um, Prince Jammy record. You guys might know this one. Prince Jammy destroys the invaders. Nice little space invader theme. Well, here's a tune. All right. So here's the tune completely dry. And now I'm going to start sending it into the spring tank so you can hear what it sounds like. And if you look at what I'm doing here, you'll see this is just a dry wet control and I'm sending it all the way. So let's start sending it to the spring reverb. Now you start to hear it and it's probably hard to tell. So let's go all the way wet. That's all the way wet. That's 100% the sound of the spring tank. None of the sound of the original record. So you can see right here, 
This control, 100% wet. This is the record. This is both. And this is the spring. And here's the spring itself. You can just do this. So, now let's see what else we can do with this. I have a second spring here, which I've been testing with. And as you can see, that's a big boy. It sounds different. Um, people ask me, like, what do different springs sound like? You know, this one, they each have three. Some have two. Um, some are longer than others, different impedances, all that kind of stuff. It really depends on what kind of sound you want. So let's see what happens when we switch the spring tank from the smaller one, which is actually very low impedance, I think 10 ohms, with a larger one, which is both larger, uh, you know, so longer springs, um, but also uh, has a higher impedance. So it's gonna react differently to the circuit and being driven. Um, you know, I'll leave you guys to decide once I switch over, but in my opinion, you know, you think like, oh yeah, I want a bigger one, but um, the smaller one can sound really nice, and it really depends on if you have a filter or not. Um, with a high-pass filter, you can tame the, the bigger one, which has a bassier response, and that can be really nice, and I'm working on some designs that involve a high-pass filter as well. Um, but for now, let's just see what happens when we switch these tanks. First, I'm just going to disconnect the input. Now you see we don't get anything. Just the output. I'm going to disconnect the output too. It's just a little bit of bleed that you're hearing from the original signal. So now let's take the output of the big boy. So this is different already. You hear the difference? That's the big boy. The little guy sounds more like this. That's the little guy. The big guy sounds more like this. It also like is a lot less damped. I mean, the springs have less tension on them, it seems like, and because they're longer, they sag more in the middle. So they sound totally different. Um, again, it's also a, a higher impedance tank. So that's the other reason it sounds different. Now let's see what happens um, when we take the input into this as well. We already have the output side, but let's feed the music into it now. Now, I don't know if that's coming across on the phone. That's 100% wet. That's just the sound of the spring. And you can tell, I think, that it's like a little bit more thunderous. So with this one, I feel like you'd really want to um, tame it with uh, a high pass either at the input or at the output or both. I kind of like both. So um, that's something that, that I really like to do as well. Anyway, um, I just wanted to show you guys this stuff. Um, as you can see, I'm getting more enclosures. Uh, I can do custom enclosures. Some people are asking for stereo setups, which um, will be a little bit more involved, but I'm really interested in doing that as well. So, if you're interested in this, hit me up and uh, I'll be uh, building some of these. Alright, peace.